in three, two, one, go. Okay, it's the beginning of our autonomous period, and we have one red robot moving, yes! Okay, we're gonna move into the tele-operated period with a score of red 10, blue three. Sixty seventy three up and over the charging station. That's the cab bots trying to pick up some of that extra cargo in the middle of the field. Meanwhile, Argonauts heads over to also pick up some of that cargo, but they're getting some defense played on them by that rookie team. That's the Hamity Hawks. Hamity has been pretty good. They're doing a combination of playing defense and moving those scoring pieces into their red community so they can get some scoring done. 49.94, that's Kingston RoboCards. Grabs a cube. Let's see if they can get engaged over in their community and get some scoring done here. And again, 92.42, Playing some D, but also doing a little bit of offensive work on this one. That's the Hawks moving cargo cubes and cones onto that lower shelf. They're doing some good scoring on their own, especially for a rookie team. Hazmat, that's that veteran team in blue, just secured a cube in the lower scoring position. They're trying to put one in the middle or the upper position over on the blue community. As the 6073 machine, CavBot, tries to get over top of that charging station so they can score with the cube that they have. Argonauts moving around, playing some deep, we're playing some defense over on the middle of the field. As Argonauts and Hazmat try to get that climb done, are they going to balance it out here? Oh, it's going to be close. With three seconds left, can they do it? We got two robots up in the red charging station and looks like one in the blue. With a score of 45 to 31, Red Alliance brings home two ranking points. And while we're cycling the robots out, if we could give a big volunteer to our pit volunteers, which includes pit